your money is not your money. Throughout this video, I'm going to explain to you in detail why your money is not your money. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you the solution to the problem of your money not being your money. So stay to the end, open your mind and see the reality of the world that you live in. Let's go. I'll explain to you now why your money is not your money. When you go to work, your salary is then paid to your bank, not you. You do the work, but the money is not paid to you. The money is paid to your bank. Am I right? The money is paid to your bank. This is then not your money. This is the bank's money. The money that is in the bank is the bank's money. It is not yours. It is the bank's choice if they give that money back to you. We'll get into that a little bit later on. What happens then with your money that is paid into your bank account? The bank then loans that money out. You don't see what's happening, but the bank then loans that money out to someone that needs a loan. Let's for hypothetical use some round numbers and they will. the bank will then charge that person, that individual, 6% on that loan. That loan is then paid back and the bank will pay you an interest on your bank account of 1%. For example, just 1%. So in that situation, the bank has made 5% doing absolutely nothing. The money was paid from your employer to your bank to be loaned out to an individual, to come back to the bank with interest and you get 1% of the interest and the bank gets 5 on the money that you earn. You earn the money, not the bank, but the bank gets the interest on that money. This just proves that your money is not your money, it's your bank's money. If you want to make a large withdrawal, if you go into the bank and want to make a large withdrawal from the bank, you have to justify and the bank has to be willing to pay you that money. It isn't your choice. You can't just go to the bank. If you've got one million pounds in the bank and you go to that bank and say, I want to withdraw my one million pounds. Good luck, my friend. You're not getting it. You're not getting that money. No way, no how. You could put in a request, you could order it, you could say, I'll get I'll get this out in a month, I'll go through all the process. You're not getting it. You're not getting that money. They're not going to give you a million pounds. It's your money that you earned, you're not getting it. Your money is not your money. There is not enough money in the bank for everyone to withdraw. For example, round numbers, if enough account holders went to the bank and deposited all their money and that money came to one million pounds in the bank, the bank would then loan out 800,000 pounds, for example, to people that need loans and mortgages and whatever they needed for. They would loan 800,000 pounds out. Now, all those depositors, those original depositors, if they all went to the bank at the same time and said, can I have my money back? The bank had one million, they loaned out 800,000 and they only have 200,000 pounds left in the bank so if all the depositors came back to the bank and all of them said can i have my money back the bank does not have the original million pounds that was deposited in the bank there's not enough money in the banks if enough people go to a bank at the same time and try to make a withdrawal this is what we call a bank run banks hate this they should have enough money on hand they play the game of having just enough money on hand that people will usually just about need that they do not have all the money on hand. You think your money is put in the bank, it's in a safe and it stays in a nice safe location. This is absolutely not true. The banks take huge risks with the money that you earn without you knowing, without your uh, prior agreement. They do all this without you knowing. Again, this is a reminder that your money is not your money. A reminder again, we will have a solution at the end of the video. If you are liking this type of content and looking forward to the solution at the end of the video, do not forget to click the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see all our future videos that are coming soon. And we have a couple of videos on six reasons why you should retire and another video that will come shortly after that on teaching you how to retire. So if you're really looking forward to those videos, click that notification bell and be the first to watch those videos as they're released. At this point, you're probably thinking, how does the bank have this crazy unfair advantage? I'm sorry, I'm gonna kick you while you're down. I'm going to tell you another advantage that the banks have that is probably going to get under your skin as well. Admittedly, it probably will get under your skin. The bank has an infinite money glitch. I'll tell you this, the Bank of England 
or the equivalent in your own country, the Bank of England is allowed to print money. The Bank of England can press print onto money and money is created like that. It's not actually physically printed. We just say it's printed, but re reality, they just change some numbers on the screen and they then have more money. Now they're not allowed to spend the money. So at least there's that. They're not allowed to just spend the money. What they do with that money is they loan that money out to people that need loans and mortgage. That money that they have loaned out is due back to the bank as a debt with interest. The person that took the loan out has to pay that back with interest. The money is then paid back to the bank. So they have the original printed money that they printed and then they have other money, legitimate money that they received back from the person that they loaned the money out to. They now have legitimate money to go and spend. That is money laundering. That's the only legal money laundering that is allowed in this country. It's crazy to think that money laundering is illegal, but the Bank of England is allowed to do it. That is exactly what money laundering is. Making money. If I went and had a money printer right here and I pressed print and made some money, that is illegal. I'm not allowed to do that. But if I go and lend it to someone and get it back with interest and I go and spend the interest, I've just then laundered that money and can go and spend that money and I have a justified reason of how I earn that money. That is money laundering. That is what money laundering is and the Bank of England is a money laundering company. But they're legally allowed to do it, but no one else is illegally allowed to do it. So, infinite money glitch. What the Bank of England then go ahead and do through many sub companies, so it's not really on the surface, you can't really see it happening, but through many sub companies with this legitimate money, they then go and buy things like property, commercial property, real estate, legitimate real things that exist in the world. This money that they printed, they loaned out, they laundered it, they're now spending it on real assets. They then loan those assets out to you and us. This is something from money printing. They did not earn that money. We have to go out and earn the money so they can now buy these properties and rent those properties out to us and take even more of our money. This again is a huge, huge unfair advantage that banks have. This is an infinite money glitch that should be illegal, but it's not illegal for the Bank of England. It's illegal for everyone else, but not the Bank of England. Your money is not your money. Okay, I've really probably got under your skin now. And I am sorry about that. I'm sorry I've got under your skin, but now I'm going to give you the solution and tell you how to manage your finances so your money is truly your money. So let's get into the solution. The solution is not keeping too much of your money in your bank at any one time. You may want some money in your bank. Personally, you should not trust the bank. You should use the bank just a little bit for liquid money in case of emergency. It's fair enough. The bank has its uses and benefits. So if you have a few thousand pounds in the bank, just a few thousand pounds in the bank, just keep it there as liquid money in case of emergencies, boiler breaking down, incidents happening, car accident, car breaking down, things like that. So you're ready for those emergencies. Have your emergency fund, then stop. No more money is going in the bank. Once it's paid into your bank, withdraw it straight out of the bank. Get it out of there. The rest of the money that you earn, you need to take a lesson from the bank and start buying real assets. Start buying real assets. Buy stocks and shares. Buy houses, buy real estate, buy property. Buy real things. Ideally, buy real things that will grow in value. So a lot of things, if you buy a brand spanking new car, yes, that is a real thing, but it does depreciate in value really quickly. So you want to buy things that are real, but also appreciate in value that go up in value over time. So that's why you want to look into stocks and shares and index funds. If you want to look into stocks and shares and index funds, use my link below the trading 212 app. The great thing is about this, you'll get a boost. You'll get a head start when you sign up using my link below, you will get a free share that could be worth up to 100 pounds. Now it's always nice to have a little bit of money. You know, if someone comes out and goes, here's something free, absolute bonus so click on the link below when you're putting your money into real assets now it looks digital it looks digital but it is real when you own stocks and shares you own part of the company if you buy stocks and shares in tesla you are the owner of that company you are the boss of that company so you do own a portion of a real company that exists so buying stocks and shares is putting your money in something real so click on the link below for the trading two on two account, sign up and get your free share up to 100 pounds. 
also put your money into property real estate get your money rented out if the banks are doing it clearly it's a good thing to do this so if the banks are doing it you should be doing it take note from them they've got the inside knowledge they've got the infinite money glitch so take some notes and follow their example they've got the hidden advantage so follow their example buy some stocks and shares in the link below buy retail and commercial property rent those properties out those properties will appreciate in value over time and you will receive a rent on the property from the tenant in the property as well has this video brought any value to you have you learned anything have you awoken your brain has your mind opened to a new reality of this world have i just changed your reality with the knowledge that i've just brought to your world if that is the case then please click that like and subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this so when i tell you that your money is not your money you're gonna hate it when i tell you that your time is not your time so click on this video to find out why your time is not your time but also again i'm going to give you a solution to that problem so you can make your time your time